and it's restricted, it's endemic to this area, far nowhere else in the world. There's a, yes she is, yes she is. Oh. Well done, buddy. Oh my god. He is thing. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is small for a baboon spider, and it's actually not even a female. It's all by the spinnerets in there. This is a male. It's a male baboon spider. His mate is about four times bigger than she is. Okay. But massive fangs, stabbing fangs. And this is the golden brown color. And the reason why they're called baboon spiders is because they're hairy. Oh, oh, oh. oh so it has nothing to do with the baboon. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the baboon. <laughs> it's just. Um, do you guys have wolf spiders here? Yes, we do. Yeah. You see those on the night drive? You pick up the reflection of the eyes and with the spotlight. So, does this thing bite or what? It will bite, but I'm giving it no reason to bite. Because I'm not restricting its movements, I'm allowing it to move. If I grab her by her abdomen like this and stop her from being able to move, she'll definitely bite. But it's not a lethally venomous Well, just spider. a little bit. <laughs> no, it hurts like a bastard. It's very sore because she's got massive fangs. Her fangs could be maybe half a centimeter, so about five millimeters long, which is pretty long for a spider, or his fangs. And they're stabbing fangs. And they will inject venom, leaves a nasty wound. Massive necrosis. But they really, really will bite. You know that's a bit big for me. That is a huge. Oh, it's small. Spider. Very small. They can grow as big as my hand. You okay, know. We'll put it 